Coin Metallurgist here, uh, and I'm just about to uh, get started on these two bags of nickels. Um, just to remind you here, uh, these nickels are from a local bank up in uh, eastern Idaho, um, and these coins are, are the ones that customers had brought back in that the bank would have sent off to uh, like the Federal Reserve Bank or uh, back to the company to be packaged. Um, and we're going to be looking through these nickels, um, looking particularly for silver, so that'd be a World War II time nickels, um, any nickel that's uh, rarer, uh, less uh, mintage, we'll, we'll pull out anything below about 50 million uh, as far as mintage goes, 2009 nickels. Um, you know, I haven't opened either of the two bags yet. Each bag has $200 of nickels in there. So this is equivalent to two boxes of nickels to each bag. This is four boxes of nickels. Um, you know, just looking through the bag, um, I haven't seen a whole lot of real old ones, but hopefully we'll find some. You know, I can only see a small fraction of them here from the surface. And um, I have seen a, a three or four uh, foreign coins in there too. I'll pull all those out and, and keep them. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll find some good stuff in here. Um, I'll finish this video after we're done looking through them. Okay, so I have uh, finished going through the two uh, bags full of nickel coins. Uh, so this is $400 in nickels that I've gone through. Um, and I've divided out the coins that I'm keeping uh, between which box they came from these ones or which bag these ones came from the first bag these ones came from the second bag um, in addition to what you see here um, I also uh, pulled out initially any coins that were from 1963 or older um, and then I kind of filtered through based on mintage and I only am going to keep the coins that have a, a lower mintage and the ones that had a higher mintage um, putting back into circulation um, so let's take a look at these coins. Um, let's look first at the uh, foreign coins that I found. Um, so from the first uh, bag, found a 10 Pfeffing. Uh, don't know exactly if I'm pronouncing that right. I know this is from Germany. Um, I have a few of these that are older. This one's from 1992. Um, of course, uh, Canadian nickels. That's usually the most common foreign coin we get. We got one from 1963. Um, there's also a Canadian nickel from 1982. Uh, this is from Slovakia, and it's 50-something. I'd have to look up what their uh, currency is. I'm sure it's equivalent to about 50 cents. Um, and this is a Belgium uh, one franc coin from 1976. Um, that Slovakian coin is from 1993. Um, in the second, um, in the second bag, uh, all of the foreign coins were Canadian nickels from 1968, 2006, 1998, 2009, and 2000. A couple of those are in pretty bad shape, but I'll probably keep all of those just for the fun of it. Um, now let's look at uh, 2009 coins. Um, so in the first uh, bag, there are five 2009 coins. One of these uh, is a 2009 P, which was I, which I was pretty happy about because I haven't found a single one yet. So this is the first and only one I have found so far. Um, so actually, we'll stick that in a uh, coin collection folder just for the heck of it. Um, in the second bag, there were again uh, five 2009 nickels. Um, all 2009D, which doesn't surprise me based on where I'm living at. Um, the 2009 nickels uh, seem to be a little bit more easy to find than the 2009 dimes, um, but I keep all of the 2009 nickels and dimes just because they are low mintage. Um, there's a few coins in here that I kept that aren't necessarily so low mintage, but um, they were really good condition, so I kept them. Uh, for example, this one isn't even necessarily that old. It's a 1968D, but it's 
in really good condition, so I'm going to keep that one. That was from the second bag. So here from the first bag, got a whole bunch of these. Um, so a lot of the ones that I didn't keep that were older were like Denver Mints from 1957 to 1963. Um, but randomly there's a few years where they made a whole lot more, like 1940, 1941. Uh, there's even a 1939 that I found with, that I'm not keeping just because they made so many of them. Um, so like this 1960 is a Philadelphia, 1960 Philadelphia, 1961 Philadelphia, 61. Some of these might be Denver, but they're in really good condition, so I kept them. Yeah, that one's Denver. So that one is a higher mintage, but I kept it because it's in real good condition. 1960 Denver, 1962 Denver. 62, Denver, uh, 1958, uh, Philadelphia, it's a pretty good one, 1960, Philadelphia, 1955, Denver, every time I see a 1955 I quickly look back on the back side because I'm really hoping it's Philadelphia not Denver because it's I think it's probably even more valuable than the silver nickels, the 1955 Philadelphia, just because of how low its mintage was. Uh, got a 1953 S, uh, another 1955 D, unfortunately, not uh, Philadelphia. We have a 1956 Denver. This is a Philadelphia. 1942, it's a pretty good one. 1948, San Francisco, that's a very good one. 1941, Denver. 1952, that's uh, Philadelphia, I believe. There's no mint mark on there. 1954, San Francisco. 1955 Denver again, 1949, uh, 1958, it's a pretty good condition one there, uh, 1960, 1952 Denver, and 1956. So quite a few coins that I'm going to keep from that uh, first bag. Unfortunately, no silver war nickels, um, but to be honest, I didn't really expect any, so I wasn't too bummed out about that. Um, these are from the second uh, bag. There were considerably less that I kept from the second bag. Um, I almost think that maybe uh, somebody went through a box of nickels and poured them back in uh, to the bank, so that bag was half uh, from one person that had already pulled out the good stuff. Uh, but... I don't really know for sure. I uh, still found a few things, so we weren't, they weren't entirely searched through. Um, have a 1959 Philadelphia, 1957 Philadelphia, 1956 Denver, 1955 Denver again, 1947, 1960. 1940 S, that's a very good one, 1956 Denver, 1948 Philadelphia, and a 1956 that looks really good from the Philadelphia Mint. So uh, overall, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I found, you know, didn't find any war nickels at all, I uh, wasn't entirely surprised by that. Um, I was pretty happy about the Slovakian coin because I don't have uh, any coins from Slo Slovakia before this. Um, German, Canadian coins I have. Uh, I do have a couple of these Belgium coins. So this is a, a new coin for me I hadn't had before. It's, a, it's aluminum, very, very light. I'm really happy about that one. Um, really happy about getting the 2009 Philadelphia. And there's a few of these that are that are pretty low mintage. One of them, which I think was about 11 and a half million uh, minted. So happy about those. Um, overall, pretty good. Um, I'm still going to be looking through uh, two more boxes of nickels, uh, rolled coins here. Uh, well, I'm up here in Idaho, so 
with any luck we'll find uh, some good stuff in there and I will keep you updated. Thanks for watching.